<clears throat> right, where was I up to? Oh, my sk oh, there we go. It's all loading in. Well, last time I remembered, I was making this base a bit bigger. We got our first fusion reactor up. Gotta say, that's a lot of energy. So what I need to do is make a... I think I need a computer station of some sort. And we've got the bed area, naturally. So yeah, I'm naturally going to need a... Yeah, a computer station then. Uh, what do I have up here? I've got water. I've got no oxygen at the moment because... Wait a minute, haven't I not made one? Not pretty sure I've made... No, nope, it's just this area. That's the bio lab. What else do I make here? I know I made St. Kills. There was the tree lab here. Was that the third thing I made? I know that my dipshit of a brain is thinking and it's like... It can't remember. Let's see, we got one dome, two... Ah, there is another dome behind it. Yep, it's alright. We got all the domes here. So, uh, we got ourselves a bioreactor. Right, so all that's left for me to do is create the computer part for this area. And uh, we should be... Right. But also, what I want to do is finally get around to checking out that, if I can get to it. But if not, I'll just continue building trees. In fact, what do I need to build trees anyway? Mm. Cute. What do I need for a tree spreader? Uh, that's not what I need. Grass spreader? No, 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 no. Flower spreader? No, 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 no. Where are we? No, 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 no. Tree spreader. Right. I need more bacteria samples, fertilizer, and the bio nugget. The super are always easy to make. In fact, what have I got in here? Well, it's all just little seeds and such, and a rocket engine, which could be handy. Right, I've got my station up here. Do I have the um, station mark too? I don't think I have that either, do I? No. <clears throat> but what do I need for a... It's alright, it's just me figuring things out. I got good food, we got the tree spreader. Tree... I thought that's a cheese spreader there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I just realised, that was probably pointless me building that, because all that needed is just one of those, really. Ah, fuck it. It's all for decoration, right? It's all decoration. Right, so all I've got to do is build a... Oh, that's going to be the bedroom, obviously. So, um... Can easily make a little computer room somewhere about. Right. So we need... Right, for that we need mushrooms, mushrooms, silicon. Uh, we need algae. Algae again for that. So, we need a lot of algae and mushrooms and silicon. And most of the water. Easy peasy stuff. So I had to get my um, bearings there for a moment because you know when you take a little break and you forget about where you're supposed to go and all a lot. Like I went up instead of down. And I need to go down again. Also, speaking of um, going to places, I wonder if I can actually get to that area. Do I, oh fuck, I forgot to bring the oxygen. That was dopey of me, wasn't it? Actually, speaking of which, well there's grass growing here. It's nice to see some greenery on this planet. I just, yeah, I'm built right on top of the thing. Oh, yeah, it's like I said in the last time. Yeah, building on top of a dead um, base and such. There's hardly any. I wonder why I wasn't going fast. No, there's no materials here. That's obviously a dead zone area for the time being. Two of the developers make something else out of it. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Cobalt. So I'm looking for stuff to make an um, option with. Then I can actually go out exploring to where that thing is. I'll deal with the base expansion stuff um, in a bit. There's no rush for it because I've still got all the stuff I need anyway. Yeah, take that. And I'll take you. And I'll take you, take you. Hello, what are you? Oh, you're just rocks. Okay. I thought you were something useful. 
like bioplastic maybe. I knew that was iron, because I was like, wait a minute, that's something important. Right, now I've got my um, enough for, let's get some wine. Most also plus I'm thinking for the future I'm going to need to expand on the base a bit more. Yeah, I've still got stuff to work on on that. But it's getting there, slowly but surely it's getting there. It's always the way, I always um, build like small bases and it turns into something a little bit bigger. And it's like, yeah. I keep saying to myself, oh yeah, I will keep it small and simple, I won't repeat the past bases and such. And then all of a sudden I'll just contradict myself and do it anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing, right? Alright, let's have a look in here. Uh, we've got plenty of water and such. Um, we put the seeds in here for the time being. Um, where is the... Oh, wait. A bacteria sample here, so I can actually make... Oh, I don't think I've got the fertilizer, have I? Um, I'll have to go to the other place to make it. And I'm going to have to make another locker by the looks of it. Oh, dilly do the worker's life for me. Nice. Right, keep you in there. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll just put you away. I will reorganize this at some point. Right, so we got to get some more water. Alright, let's have a look. Good old water. Water? I also need some food in me. Uh, you better be growing food for me quickly. Nice. Ah, oh, that'll do me. Right. Down there. Yeah, I made this a little bit confusing for myself. Right, let's go adventuring and see if we can find that spot that it's been telling me to go to. Yeah, I've got um, about four oxygen bottles and four... Whoops! I've got about four oxygen bottles and four bottles of water, so yeah, that would do me. Always good to take extra. What am I doing? I could use the jetpack instead of just running. I've got to forget something so simple. I've been using that for the past few videos. You see, this is what happens when I take a week off or so. I'm suddenly like... Bleh. Ooh, what? Uh, Osmium. When it sh when anything shimmers like that, it's usually a good sign that something good is around. Hello, what have we here? We've got postal quote, but this quote quote <laughs> quartz Z light. Oh, pack. Don't ask. <laughs> so as these things melt, things are revealed. I can hear the people saying, really? Really? You haven't noticed that during the past games? And yes, I had an issue nose, so sorry about that. I'm looking for more pulsar crystals because if I can look for more pulsar, I mean, get more pulsar crystals, I can get, um, that looks like aluminium. Is that another bunch of aluminium? Lucky, lucky me. I found a good mine, uh, minefield. <laughs> I found a good field. Right. Uh, let's see if we can find some more osmium and pulsar crystals because if I can get another um, fusion reactor up then we are good hello this is a pink area well it was a pink area hey am I coming in circles yes I am Oh, this was the area I came across before. And I'll see that. I'm going to have a little look see about that. Let's 
So. I think this might be a work in progress. But at least I know there's another walkway to plant more trees and such. Right, there's no materials there, so it's, this is definitely a work in progress as far as I can see. I mean, oh wait, there is materials there, so maybe this is a thing. Ah, wait, hold on. Yeah, this area is definitely a work in progress. By the looks of it. Yeah, because when you don't see any materials in certain areas and that, and it's just like this, that usually means it's either a, a work in progress area where they're going to actually make something out of it, or it's just like the dead zone sort of thing. So let's see this. I'm assuming as they go along, the whole planet's going to get bigger as it goes on. When I say planet gets bigger, I don't mean as in like, oh, the planet itself is going to get bigger. I mean like the map size and such that, so you've got more to explore, more to do and such. I've got to say, it's probably pretty tricky... Um, pretty tricky to actually do uh, something like massive and big like that uh, because it's like well take arc for example you know they had to make the maps quite big interesting and it's just you know what what could one put in it what can one do and such like that yeah there's so many possibilities but you had to think what people i mean you had to think about those possibilities you know like what kind of possibilities you know what what should we have what shouldn't we have sort of thing so there's all those little questions that comes to mind and such. And that's actually a good find. I take you. Right. Remember where you parked. Looks like a nice area to do um, a little bit of picnicking. Get your baskets out and such. Strawberries and cream. God damn it, I made myself hungry. Well, dear, at least I was thinking of more healthy foods like, you know, strawberries. There is definitely a lot of um, cobalt here, so this is cobalt central. And iron in it, so yeah, this is good. Ah! Anything else? Well, yeah. going down. Right, let's go and return to base to unload myself and see where else I can explore. Eh. I've been trying to get to that sort of thing, but it's like. I have no clue where it is, even though it's pointing that way. But yeah, my torch is also in the way as well. Bless my soul. This is a quite an interesting, nice area. I wonder what they're going to do with it. I know the plans may add more as they go along. Although, by the time this comes out, they probably already have. Because you know how slow I am when it comes to uploading my videos and so forth. It's like. I could take a lot longer or a little while because I've got a whole bunch of them. Um, I know I hear people saying that you don't have to record everything. I agree with that one because um, it's definitely a true fact. You don't have to record everything. You've got to make sure you have time for yourself to enjoy games without recording and such like that. And that's what I do. I do make sure I do it without recording as well. Because if I can't do it without recording, then it's not a game for me that I should be recording, if that makes sense. Because I'm obviously not enjoying it for what it really is. I'm just doing it for recall purposes. And it's like, no, that shouldn't be how a game plays. A game should be played for how it should be. And by the way, when I was doing that um, voice impersonation, I wasn't taking uh, the mick out of anyone I know. Because, <laughs> um, honestly, I would never do that. <laughs> but I know I've been told by people not to, um, you know... To to just rely on recording all the time, just play the game naturally and such, which I agree with them. Not to rely on recording naturally, I mean, ugh. 
not to always think you've got to record every single game in that which I do agree with them on that and I get why they say that because they just you know give me advice and remind me that hey you know have some fun time um, with it don't just go into a game and go yeah I've got to record this got to record that because otherwise you ruin the fun for yourselves which I can understand why they would say that and so forth and I don't blame them I really don't because they're just trying to help me out and I thank them for that big time and anybody who helps me out is always a friend indeed see I love my friends and that's not me being sarcastic by the way that's me actually being honest actually I need a let's climb up there and put a c -c 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 cupboard in my b -b 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 room Do you know what? Among all the places I had to choose here, a dead zone where a base is just completely dead to actually make a nice bedroom and such. Please, you go fast. Um, is it you? Actually, are you a tier 2 one food grower? Oh, you're a normal one. That's why that one's growing fast. I really should actually put a tier 2 one, but I was trying to... Oh yeah, I was trying to serve on my alloys. Do you know what? I could actually extend. Could I extend from... Yeah, I could actually extend by one to... Make a... Yeah, a computer area. So we go and take that. That. Uh... So that's just me thinking. Don't worry, I'll get round to exploring. I'll make some more um, oxygen thing. Uh, aha! Right, how much do we need for a... Just a... I need an iron. Do we have any iron about? We only got one iron. Well, you know what? May as well just go and put that away and just continue on exploring. That's going to make it all worthwhile, right? Can't believe that. I used to rely on ice to actually give me water when this first began and that. And now I'm like spoiled for water. The only thing I'm not spoiled for is oxygen. So I'm glad that there's plenty of cobalt around. Because otherwise, I'd be in a bit of a pinch. And I'm just putting this away in here. Do, 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 do. There. Right. Let's go exploring. Right, I doubt that I will probably will get to that area because it's probably somewhere else that is probably not around here. You watch me be wrong and it'll be like, hey, I'm running in front of you, bitch. And I'll be like, wow. I'll get the metal laters and do what I need to do. I'm just going to do... I've got to be spending most of this time in the video exploring a bit more so I can see what new areas is and pick up some, like, pulsar quartz and such. And even find any... You know, nice loot quest, 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 chest, quest, <laughs> loot quest, <laughs> chest. Fuck me, in my words. I do love the different environments that this game creates. You know, you got like one zone that seems all nice and desertly. You got one that looks naturally green or something like that. And you got one area that looks dangerous, like for, like especially in the caves and so forth. It's, um, when you see the colour green you think radiation and such and it's like am I going to die? and it's like nope but I do hope they um, include like hostile creatures and this as the planet evolves that will be so so good and some people go we don't want hostile creatures we want this to be peaceful come on where's your sense of adventure? And then all of a sudden I'll be like yep I regret my idea um, actually ever saying about that you know um, I'll take everything back you know I'm just gone all full chicken wuss everything's so pink around here I wonder if this area will become sort of like a rich area for pulsars eventually because I don't know maybe it's because of the pink aura I keep seeing now and then now I will say before um if people do tend to judge this on the changes of colours and such, or environments so quickly for point, like from one environment to another, I'll say um, give it a little bit of a break. Uh, well, give it more than a little bit of a break because it's still a work in progress. It's still being made and such, and you've just got to 
give it some breathing room because they're still making it and they are working very hard on it by the looks of it because they have been well oh, quite literally just working around the clock with this game and it's like yeah they update it quite frequently because um, I could be playing it right now and all of a sudden they would go hey guess what we got an update and it'd be up and I'll be like whoa not mean sound of that cat but yeah I'll be like whoa whoa <laughs> also um there's a little funny thing about that. Um, my friend Nina, uh, who goes by the name of Ninjuru, she um, showed me that cat with a deep voice, and she said, "And I thought you had a deep voice, but something seems to beat you, or something like that." And of course, when I heard that cat, I know that the cat had, you know, a few issues with its um, vocals and that. But the fact where it was giving it, whoa, whoa, and I was like, "Damn, that beats my voice." So the next time when anybody says, "Hey, you got a deep voice, Draco," I'll be like. Nah, check that cat out. That one's got the more deeper voice than me. I speak weird. <laughs> right. Um, right. Right, we got a... Ooh, 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 beehive. Beehive. Nice. I never will get excited about beehives, but... So, beehive, huh? How do we make you? How the fuck do we make a bee lava? Well, at least we've got the fertilizer, buy nugget and such. So. So. I still need to make these as well. Don't worry. I figure it out. I always do. I'm pretty good at figuring things out. Actually, what did I need that other metal for? See, I'm forgetting already, and it's like, oh yes, now I remember. It's like, how rude of me. Oh, I've done something's blocking the way. Where's my door? Why can I not put you up there? Here we go. Yeah, that will work. I really gotta sort this lot out. I'm getting way too many seeds, but then again I'll be complaining and say, Oh, I ain't got enough. And it's like, yeah. You were complaining that you had too much earlier, and now you're complaining you ain't got enough. So, yeah, I'm best to shut my hole and just go... And just, you know... Have as many seeds as possible. Because as my friend Tom would always say, get everything you can. Everything, near enough everything and anything you get. If you've got it twice, get it again. And I'll say that's a good way to do, you, you know, deal with survival games and that. Because it's not a, um, it's, it's not a good motive to say, you know, doesn't matter if you've got it, it once or twice. Or three times even, just get it again and again and again, because you never know when we're going to need that shit. And yeah, he, he's absolutely right, you know. That's why he's like um, the engineer of the group. <laughs> That's why in, um, oh, what's it now? in one of the Cartopia videos, um, I, I made a little lab area for him and um, let him extend upon it. 